Hi, everyone, and welcome back for another weekly video in the Psalms. Uh, today, we're going to look at Psalm 7, uh, a psalm written by King David again, one that's not so popular, uh, but has an interesting topic that I want to explore. So if we look at, oops, uh, Psalm 7, verse 10, King David says, my shield is God most high. So we've talked about this before, where a shield will protect you in battle. So David's protection is the God most high. And God is a shield. He protects and saves the upright in heart, meaning those who live according to God's law and his statutes and, and love God and try to obey him. God protects them like a shield. Well, David continues uh, in verse 11. He says, God is a righteous judge. So hopefully none of you have had to go see a judge in court. Uh, I doubt any of you, you have at this point in your lives. You're still quite young. Even I haven't had to go stand before a judge. But it says that God is like a righteous judge. And what is this judge like? Well, a righteous judge is one that is good. Uh, he's one that is perfect. And that's how God judges everything. But look at the next line. David says, a God who displays his anger every day. Well, we usually don't think of God as being angry, but here King David says that God is angry every day. He's a judge, he's a shield, but he's also angry. Well, that seems unusual, but let's see what he says in verse 12. What does King David say? Well, King David says, if anyone does not repent, well, repent means pray and ask God for forgiveness. So if somebody does not pray and repent, God will sharpen his sword. So God has a sword and he will bend and string his bow, meaning bow and arrow, not the bow maybe you put in your hair if you're a girl. He means a bow and arrow. So God is a shield, but he can also be a sword and a bow. He can punish people. Well, that sounds quite scary, right? God is angry. God has a sword. He has a bow and arrow, and he's looking to deliver a just punishment. So sometimes if your mommy, your daddy, your teacher accuse you of doing something wrong, well, you can lie about it or blame it on your brother or sister or maybe on the dog or cat. But God knows perfectly, and he's a judge that will always do what's right. So if you've done something wrong, he is going to punish you for what you have done wrong. Well, that sounds quite scary, doesn't it? It scares me because I do plenty of things wrong uh, every day. But the good news of Jesus Christ is that Jesus is the person who took all of our sins upon him. So all of the bad things we've done have been placed on Jesus Christ. And whenever we pray and repent like this person here, well, God takes all of our sins on Jesus and he takes all of the good things from Jesus and puts them on us. So whenever God, the good judge, looks at you and I, he doesn't see our sins. He sees the goodness of Jesus Christ, and he acts as our shield. So this psalm is a little bit unusual. We see God as an angry judge, but whenever we realize, ah, whenever we repent in Jesus Christ, Jesus will only be our shield. He will never be the sword or the bow against us. So boys and girls, I encourage you to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and to always repent because God is very ready to forgive. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I look forward to seeing you next week.